Hello everyone, welcome to Life Around Science. This is a video on books for quantum mechanics. What are my recommendations? What are the textbooks or reference books that you can use to start with uh, the theory of quantum mechanics? So I have three uh, recommendations. So one I'm just flashing here. I don't have it with me right now. So these are the three books that uh, I had used or that clicked with me and I would recommend here. So this is the most standard book. So I will first uh, focus on this. So on this one, the mechanics, DJ Griffiths. I think everyone knows about this book, uh, which deals purely with quantum mechanics. And uh, there's also one Arthur Weiser book that I had uh, shown in one of my previous books that is on modern physics in general. Uh, but this book, like, completely uh, focus on quantum mechanics and not on the applications of it or like other theories like atomic chromatography physics and anything. So this, I think everyone knows. I mean, use this uses this as the textbook for the first course on quantum mechanics. So this is a good book. It is good starting point. It has easy uh, language. It has some uh, questions at the end of each chapter. And I think it's a good book to get started off. But at the same time, I don't think this is uh, enough. So I'll just uh, go through it. So you have wave function, then uh, the actual formulation of quantum mechanics, uh, some formalism here then application to hydrogen atom and angular momentum part is in this chapter then we have identical particles and then you go to some of the applications uh, so these are just theory we are not actually applying it uh, so i think apart from the hydrogen atom or molecule here okay so we have time independent uh, perturbation theory variational principle then some uh, approximation uh, wkb approximation then time dependent perturbation scattering and so on so it's a good starting point it has easy language one of the problems with this book is that it won't equip you to uh, solving all types of problems that might also appear in different uh, entrance exams uh, so we have problems at the end of <coughs> each chapter as well as at the end of each section so here are some you can see some unsolved problems and examples are some of the solved problems which you'll find throughout the text like example two and so on so here are some of the problems that are standard in entrance exam as well so this is helpful another thing with this is that it mostly uh, relies on the wave function representation of quantum mechanics so you're heavily dealing with uh, psi of x like the wave function and another shortcoming is that you don't really get well equipped with the actual uh, language of quantum mechanics that is usually used like the bracket notation it they have covered it but you won't get comfortable with it enough to uh, be confident in quantum mechanics so i think it's a good starting point another book that i would uh, recommend that would also uh, help you with problem solving it has a bunch of problems and it also uses bracket notation and it will really equip you and uh, give you confidence is the uh, book by zetteli so i don't have it with me I'll, I'll just flash it here for a while I think uh, Zetteli, uh, if you do that for problem solving along with uh, explanations from this book because the explanations are very lucid and easy to understand and logical in this book. So maybe this book in tandem with uh, Zetteli, I think is a good uh, combination uh, as a starting point for quantum mechanics. I'll now come to this book, uh, Modern Quantum Mechanics by J.J. Sakurai. I think this is an absolute essential book for anyone who wants to really understand quantum mechanics. I didn't come across this uh, in my BAC, so but uh, in the quantum course of our masters, this was a recommended book, and I can clearly understand why. Exactly, and even Griffiths is not enough if you really want the 
essence of quantum mechanics you need to go uh, and have a look at this book uh, eventually i don't i wouldn't recommend this book as the starting point or as the first book on quantum mechanics uh, if you're just starting off because you might get confused or you might not end up uh, being well equipped with problem solving or even for entrance exams and stuff but once you have done a course on quantum mechanics once you've uh, gone through griffiths and also you have a fair background of quantum mechanics when you start reading it you will get the real essence uh, and you get you will really get that conceptual kick uh, of what quantum mechanics is all about and you know it will blow your mind so i had gone through this book uh, almost i think up to chapter 5 of this in my so i had gone through this completely in my uh, quantum mechanics course in my master so two year two years master as you can see the uh, the book is slightly in bad shape but these are the contents it is more or less the same contents uh, same list of contents you see uh, so first there are some fundamental concepts you see they start with the bracket uh, notation representation they hardly go to actual wave function and so and that, that is uh, one of the beautiful things about this uh, book you have quantum dynamics which is the wave function and theory of angular momentum which is covered uh, somewhere over here then you have symmetry uh, and identical particles basically and you have some approximation methods you go to perturbation theory time dependent time dependent which is covered at the next part then there is wkb and all so then there is identical particles which is also covered here and then the scattering theory but conceptual understanding that we get after going through this book is phenomenal it starts with the standard stern gerlach experiment like motivating you why we are doing it which you might not find in a uh, book like uh, dj griffiths you will actually start questioning why you are doing it how does everything comes about why you are using uh, linear algebra to describe all the theory of quantum mechanics and so on so okay i'll just do a get through they have covered this momentum representation space represent position space wave function and so on so yeah but most of the calculations are done by staying in the bracket notation and without having the so you realize that you don't really need to stick to any representation uh while solving all of these problems that you have been doing so far if you define the momentum spend quite some time on symmetries here these have problems so they don't have problems within the text but they have problems at the end of each chapter i'd also gone through these problems for the chapters that i had gone through in the master and then there's appendix yeah that's it yeah this was the book list too this is what i would recommend uh, dj griffiths with zetli is a good starting point uh, you'll get a little conceptual understanding along with good problem solving to gain confidence and eventually once you're done with it uh, going through jj sakurai uh, for to get the real essence of what quantum mechanics really is and once you have gone through this you can then dive into advanced topics like advanced quantum theory or quantum field theory and so on so that's it thank you Thank you.